It's freaking day three, dude. Bunk. What the heck? Whoa! <laughs> Who's that? If you haven't watched the other two parts of this 700 Volkswagen dune buggy series, go watch them now. We're gonna check our valves. Yep, there's valves. We have them. <laughs> Come over here. We're gonna do a little wiggle check. Those things are wiggling more than a. They be wiggling. They do be wiggling. <laughs> Turns out our valves were way too tight. Also, it turns out we lied to you and the sun is blinding my <laughs> eyes, but uh, Joe Knows Volkswagens from TikTok told us that this thing is actually a 1600 cc. So huh. we're gonna be scooting. You'll know the valve gap is right based off feeling. That's why they call these feelings gauges. All right, this is the first look inside our cylinders. How we doing? Can't see. I can't see nothing. That's just rust. So we got some pretty decent cylinders. You can still see the cross hatching on the cylinders. Definitely a little bit of crust. The piston looks pretty decent. Overall, she'll be scooting. This will be scooting. If you're not checking out your holes. What are you even doing? I'm fiddling with our gaps. Levi's checking our holes. How's this one look? Watery. More moist than... <laughs> <laughs> we just did some heavy duty research in. We looked up a diagram and showed our uh, firing order was correct. The red wire here goes to number one, counterclockwise. This one over here goes to two, three, and four. We can count to four. <laughs> you guys are making fun of our friggin' pool noodles. So now we have to take them off, putting our precious Little noggins at race. In dangerous way. Look at that beautiful paint under there. <laughs> All right, here's a little <laughs> midday update for you. All four of our cylinders are looking pretty. Now we're going to check the bushing that the starter motor slides into. And who knows what else? <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Yeah! We got our bushing out. <laughs> our bushing didn't fit. And we're gonna grind it down. We need some high tech things here. All right, here's what's going on, you dirty grasshoppers. We thought that maybe the starter motor wasn't engaging right because of the bushing. We tried to switch it out with the bushing that was with this starter motor in the kit. This one didn't fit, it cracked. So then we went to the two different auto parts stores. Neither of them had the right one. So now we're gonna put the original one that we threaded out back in here. We're gonna fix our timing and then we're gonna toe start this. <laughs> what we got here is a nice little electronic ignition and a cheek full of seeds. We're going to take our distributor cap off, take this stuff off, then we just get rid of the points. Boom. Easier said than done. That thing is clipping in there. Nice. We're going to be scooting. All right, we got our, got our distributor pointing to the number one wire spot. We got our crank pulley at the notch which should be top dead center the light is on now we just want to wiggle this till it's off that'll be going clockwise we're gonna go counterclockwise till that light turns off it might never turn off <laughs> we might have done it wrong that'd be the first time ever all right we think we did our our timing oh hey jim hey <laughs> We had our electronic ignition and it just wasn't doing the trick, but this yeah, should do but. it. We're getting close. We're getting all our tidbits tightened down, spark plugs back in, fuel tank hooked back up, and then we're gonna tow her. Then we'll be scooting. We're losing daylight, <laughs> losing our marble. We got the tractor, we got our rope. Let's head down to the field and get this thing scooting. Scooting. This is the most fun we're ever gonna have with this thing because it's never gonna run. Punch it. Go! <laughs> 
They were running! They were running! I don't think it's actually running. I feel like the car probably hasn't filled with fuel yet. With fuel yet. Alright, here we go. Oh, Good it. freaking bad day three we got this thing to crank over with starting fluid now i think we know that it's a fuel problem it's not sucking fuel into the carburetor and it's not scooting we'll catch you on the next one love you guys bye